right, thank you. All right, welcome to Candlelight Vinyasa, <clears throat> excuse me, and Zen, and Zen. We are, my name is Lindsay. I'm saying that for the purpose of the recording. <laughs> the girls are like, I know what your name is. All right, so we'll start in a seated position. Find something to sit on if you have. Cross leg or sitting on the heels. And we'll just start here, coming into our space. <sighs> sitting up nice and tall. Soften the shoulders away from the ears. And we'll wait for, oh, it is time. It is officially time. So we'll just close the eyes if you haven't already. Start to focus on your breath. I'm trying to sit up nice and tall so we're grounded in our seat here. And we'll start to take some bigger breaths. So if you can, breathe in through the nose. Exhale out of the mouth. Taking a few more just like that. Inhale through the nose. Exhale out of the mouth. So these breaths are a great way to release tension. Couple, let's do two more. Inhale through the nose. Exhale out of the mouth. One more. Inhale. Exhale. And then go ahead and just sit with your own breath here. No need to force it. Just sit and hear the breath, feel the body. Be present right here, right now. Letting go of anything else that may creep in, pop up. Resi residue from earlier today. Just keep taking it back to this position right here, your body, how your body feels here, and your breath. And that is yoga right there. <laughs> Bringing our attention into the present. And it's a continuous practice that we keep working on. That's why we keep coming to the mat, keep practicing. That's why we keep coming to our meditation cushion or meditation, whatever that means for you. And that could be your yoga practice as well. The body, the breath, presence. Welcome those just coming in. We'll take a couple more breaths right here in a seat. Let you all get settled. Before we open our eyes or come out of our seat, place a hand over the heart, maybe both hands over the heart. Acknowledging what we're grateful for here. Any gratitude, maybe for a specific person, something that happened this week or this weekend we're looking forward to. A couple more breaths. Beautiful, let's open the eyes, release the hands. Welcome, welcome, happy Friday. We're gonna come out of this seat and come into puppy pose. So puppies in between uh, child's pose and down dog, <clears throat> which we're on our knees, keep our hips lifted and then walk the hands forward, reaching the uh, heart towards the floor, but the forehead comes down first. And then if you want it even more, you could tuck the chin Place the chin on the floor. That's getting pretty, pretty deep into the shoulders. So no need to push it here. We'll take a few breaths as we settle into this puppy pose. Anahatasana.
And then from here, we're gonna to start to just lift the head off the floor and slither onto the belly. So if you're not coming onto the belly for any reason, you could come up to a tabletop position instead on hands and knees. Um, and I'll get back to you there. <laughs> but we'll lower down to the belly if you're okay there. Actually, in a tabletop position, you could work some cat and cows. From this belly position, walk the hands back underneath the shoulders, and we're gonna flow with cobra a few times here. So tops of the feet are down, pelvis is down, and hands are down. Hug those elbows in on your next inhale. We're gonna lift the chest off the floor, maybe a little bit, maybe a lot of it. Cobra, shoulders are down. And then we'll exhale, lower heart back to the floor. A couple more times like that. Inhale. We might lift the heart off the floor, or the belly off the floor a little bit, and then lower down. Beautiful. One more. Inhale, lift. Maybe coming a little higher, press into the hands. And exhale, lower that chest to the floor. We'll come up and back into child's pose, taking a few breaths right there. Knees wide, big toes touch, forehead to the floor or the back of the hands. Find your breath here. Maybe inhale through the nose, exhale out of the mouth. And then let's make our way to down dog. We're gonna start moving a little bit more. So down dog, tuck the toes, lift the hips up and back, press into the hands. Maybe pedal out the feet a little bit here, bend the knees, sway the hips, or just hold a couple more breaths. And on your next inhale, we'll start to walk the feet towards center. Right leg lifts, inhale. Exhale, step the foot forward in between the hands. We're gonna release this back knee down and come up into a lunge. So sink the hips forward. You can reach the arms straight or cactus arms, but we're reaching these hips forward and opening the heart, the belly. Starting with some, some heart openers here. So far, all heart openers. <laughs> so lift the gaze up. If you want a little more, sink the hips forward. One more breath. Beautiful, let's inhale here. Exhale, take those hands forward. We'll just step it back into our down dog. Two breaths there and we'll take it to the other side. Beautiful, next inhale, those feet can come to center. Lift the left leg up. Exhale, step the foot forward in between the hands, back knee lowers down. Sink those hips forward as you rise the arms up. So it is a back bend, heart opener, maybe cactus arms here. Beautiful. Lift that belly off the thigh a bit. Maybe lift the gaze. Once again, we sink the hips forward. Breathe. Find your breath in these moments where you're just like, I want to move somewhere else other than this. <laughs> Find your breath right there. Inhale. Exhale. Take those hands down. Step back into our down dog. All right. Moving on. Feet come to center. Right leg lifts. Inhale. Exhale. Step that foot forward. Same thing. Knee drops. Come on up. This time we're going to interlace our fingers behind the back or just reach for opposite wrists or elbows here. Open the chest as we sink the hips forward from there. So again, we could lift the gaze to come in it a bit more. If you have the fingers interlaced, reach the knuckles down as you lift the heart up. Find their balance. Inhale. Exhale, release. Hands come forward, front leg straightens. We're taking it into a half split. So front leg straightens, toes lift, and then let's square the hips. So left hip forward, right hip back, folding over the extended leg. Take some breaths here, breathing into our hamstring. Inhale. 
And on your next inhale, we'll bend that front knee, plant the hands, step back into your down dog. One full breath right there. And we'll take it to the other side. When you're ready, on an inhale, that left leg lifts. Exhale, step the foot forward. Back knee lowers down. Here we go, this dragon lunge once again. So find your lunge, take the arms up, and then we'll take the hands behind us, interlace fingers or reach behind in some way. Open the heart, reach the knuckles down, sinking the hips forward. So this is really opening up through our heart, our psoas, which is a deep core muscle along the side, body. One more inhale here. Exhale, release, beautiful. Take those hands forward, front leg straightens, toes lift, and we square the hips. We're getting a little bit more stretchy today than like the flowy, flowy. But depending how much time, we might get a little bit more movement. But this is just what's calling sometimes, <laughs> is to slow it down and stretch a little bit more than the movement. All right, on your next inhale, we'll bend this front knee, plant the hands, step back into your down dog. Take one full breath there. And we'll inhale, gaze forward, walk the feet forward to meet the hands, taking it into a forward fold at the top of your mat. So feet are close together, legs straight, reach the crown of the head down. One more breath here. And then we'll bend the knees as much as we need to roll up to standing. Let the head and neck be the last to come up. Nice and easy. Beautiful. Happy Friday, all. All right, we're gonna play with some balance here um, before we take it into our Zen. So tree position, maybe come to a wall. We're gonna ground down into our left foot. Right foot comes into the inside of the ankle calf or inner thigh, but above or below the knee, hands can come to heart center right here to start finding your balance in the legs. Beautiful. So what tends to happen is this hip pushes out. We want to hug that hip in nice and strong around the hip socket, outer hip. And then from there, maybe grow your tree extending up or maybe out, arms out to the side can help with balance reaching up through the crown of the head here and then maybe lift the gaze if you want even more lift the gaze we could close one eye maybe both eyes a couple more breaths wherever you are beautiful and start to release the gaze back to eye level we'll release those hands together in front of the heart and turn this knee forward. Take an inhale, maybe hug it in. Woo. And exhale, release, shake it out. All right, we're gonna take it to the other side. Here we go. Right foot grounds, left foot comes in. Ankle, calf, or inner thigh. Find your balance. So it helps to keep your gaze on one point helps to keep with the breath, calm, steady. Imagining that tree rooted into the earth and reaching up towards the sky. Take the arms out or up or maybe behind you, that interlace or reaching behind the back in some way. Maybe lift the gaze, maybe close one eye or both eyes. Lots of ways to challenge. Yes, find your steadiness, your groundedness. One more full breath. And we'll slowly release those hands back to in front of the heart and take that knee into the chest for an inhale. Little added bonus here, exhale, release. Shake it out, great job, let it go. Good or bad, let it go. 
We'll take it back to the front, front of the mat. Inhale those arms up. Exhale, swan dive, forward fold. And let's pause here. We're gonna widen our feet, this time about hips width. Peace fingers around the big toes. So that might mean we bend the knees. Peace fingers around the big toes, palms face each other. And then from there, we work on the fold and straightening the legs. So reaching the crown of the head down as we straighten legs little by little. Keep lengthening the spine. Keep the belly in strong. Shoulders away from the ears. Two more breaths. And we'll release those hands from the toes. Halfway lift, hands can come to the shins. Flat back, exhale, plant the hands, step back into our plank. We'll chaturanga to the belly and flow with those cobras three times. So just like we did in the beginning, inhale, lift the chest, cobra, shoulders down, open that heart, exhale to the floor. Two more, inhale, lift, you can press into the hands. Find your strength to assist you. Exhale, lower down. One more. Inhale, press into the pelvis, the tops of the feet. As you lift that chest, up, 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 up. And lower down. Exhale. Press up and back into our child's pose. Rest. Forehead to the floor or the back of the hands. All right, we're gonna transition into more our Zen, but we're gonna take a kind of an in-between uh, vinyasa and Zen, making kind of like the bridge. So we're gonna come into half pigeon. That can be done from uh, down dog or tabletop position. We'll lift this right leg up, inhale. Exhale, take that right shin forward extend the left leg back. So if this isn't gonna work for your front knee, you could always come to a seated figure four here, same shape, or on your back, same shape as well. So a few different options there. Otherwise, from this pigeon position, square the hips, the shoulders forward. You may stay here, or we might start to lower down to the palms maybe forearms, maybe that forehead lowers down to back of the hands or the floor, or I always like a block under the forehead here. Can be a nice way to add some support. A block could go underneath that right outer hip as well for some support in the pelvis. So settle in wherever you are, there's no need to rush. Do make sure we're having a flow, steady breath, rather than holding the breath or shortness of breath. Try to keep the breath long as you inhale. Complete exhale. Notice if any release is taking place around the hip, the glutes, and just observe. And we'll take one more full breath. And on your next inhale, slowly start to rise up. I'll tuck the back toes under, extend that right leg back, shake it out. If you're on your back or seated, 
can just start to uh, switch sides, maybe shake out the legs a little bit. All right, when you're ready, other side, left leg lifts from down dog. Exhale, take that shin forward. And that shin may be angled with the heel in a little closer towards the body. But if you wanted more shin parallel to the front of the mat is a good reference. I'm definitely not there. So it might look more angled for most of us. And then as you're ready, you might lower down forearms, maybe the forehead. I'm trying to keep that lower back as level as possible. That's when the block underneath the left outer hip can be nice. Keeping that level sacrum will be the most beneficial for this stretch. Find your breath. Observe the body. You do have your forehead resting on something. You might rock the head a little side to side. It can be a nice way to release any tension in the forehead, eyebrows. Which sometimes you might not even realize you're holding tension there. <laughs> I find that a lot for myself. So getting that feeling, that sensation there, that rocking side to side can bring just our attention to that area as well. All right, on your next inhale, we'll slowly start to come up, come out of that. Tuck the back toes under, that left leg extends, shake it out. And then let's come to, see how much time we have. Oh good, we'll have time to do this one. So we're gonna come on to our knees. Here's our options. You could sit back onto the heels, maybe tuck the toes under, work there. Or we're gonna come into a hero where we widen our feet and sit in between our heels. Block can come in handy here, sit there. And then we could just stay here or gonna give us the option to take it a little further. If you can sit somewhat comfortably in between the heels, you might start to take it back. Those hands come back. You might be able to come back to the forearms. And this could be a great place to breathe, a few breaths or taking it back all the way to a supine hero position. So if you're doing that, we take the head back first, lower onto the back of the head, and then the shoulders come down to the floor. You might tuck the tail under a bit to create more space. But wherever you are along those lines, breathe another five breaths or so. So the supine hero position gives us a pretty good back bend. And wherever you are, gives us a great stretch for the ankles, the knees, the quads, anywhere in this position. And wherever you are is perfect along the journey. We're all on our, in our, on our own 
level, flexibility, everybody's body's different. We're all here to be on our own journey. Let's take one more full breath wherever you are. And if you've come back, we'll come out the same way we went in. So we'll lift the heart, come on to the back of the head, walk those elbows underneath, then hands lead with the heart, let the head follow. And let's swing those legs in front of us. And we'll come to a butterfly position, or just kidding, let's do straight legs. <laughs> this will be better after that. We'll do seated forward fold. So straighten those legs out, take those arms up, inhale. Exhale, fold over the straight legs. You might reach for the calves, ankles, feet. Stretch out that back, especially if you went into the back bend. One more full breath right here. And then inhale, rise up. We'll exhale, bend the knees, make our way onto our back. Let's see how much time we got. Okay, perfect. Onto the back, hug the knees into the chest. We'll take a supine twist for the last couple minutes here. So knees into the chest, inhale, exhale, knees come over to the right, reach back through the left arm, hang here for some breaths, supine twist. This is a great time to bring a block in between the knees, if you want to support here, or a cushion, pillow, blanket. Noticing our breath, observing the body. These are great tools to use anytime off the mat as well. Those tools are always available. Attention to the breath, observing the body. All right, let's inhale those knees to center and exhale, knees over to the left. We'll reach back through the right arm. Settle in other side. Great way to start a Memorial Weekend. A little bit of dance, a little bit of yoga, or one or the other. <laughs> Take a couple more breaths here on this side. Hope you all are going to do something fun this weekend, hang out with family, friends. I might make my way somewhere. Don't have any plans yet. <laughs> we'll do something fun. All right, let's inhale those knees to center. And exhale. We're just coming right into our Shavasana. So straighten those legs out, arms come out, palms face up. Rest right here. Take this opportunity to be still. Close the eyes. Give yourself this gift of quiet, even if there's a little chaos around you <laughs> with kiddos or family. Dedicate this time to yourself, this stillness, this quiet. 
as you absorb your practice. Letting it soak into the body, the mind. And I encourage you to stay here as long as you can. We'll go ahead and log us off. But enjoy, enjoy this, enjoy your weekend. And I thank you for joining. It's always an honor to guide you. The light in me sees the light in each of you. Namaste.